just like the NASA scientists taken from Nazi Germany to start NASA, Dr. Schreiber was the vaccine biochemical scientist that was taken from Nazi Germany over to the Americas to run the vaccine programs. So it's not only the world of things are just messed up. There's an intelligence behind it. It's not only that there's a vaccine program, it's that there's a vaccine program and there has been information that has been directed towards, information that has shown vaccines being directed towards a specific group of people. These so-called black and brown peoples or melanated peoples, whoever's in that world of in and around those vaccines will be affected more so. Your prison industrial complex isn't filled to the max with so-called white people. It's filled to the maximum, maximum security, filled to the maximum capacity with the people who are a threat to the site, not only the psychology, but the overall ownership of this land. These are the laws, so-called laws that these people are living under right now. And beyond that, it's an alchemy. Any of these documentaries that you're watching, you especially on the mainstream media, you'll see that every single TV show, every single documentary is from the perspective of the Western mind. The people who win the wars are the ones who write the history books. So every TV show is a version of that. Every movie, especially in the United States, all these movies come out of Hollywood. Hollywood is the machine for keeping the Western stories alive and shitting all over the original people's stories. Once you remove your attachments to the storyline, then you can ask whatever questions you want. These, these attachments that people have, people have attachments to topics, people have attachments to theories, people have attachments to ideas. Uh, when you're on the internet and social media, people have attachments to their subscribers, just the way their subscribers have attachments to uh, the content creators. So there, there's all these attachments that are there, and that's the, that's the hardest thing to, and that's enveloped with the relationship with, that the individual has with, with change. Some people don't want to change. And in that space, it will, it will send shock waves to the rest of the world. It's like, okay, we're shutting this down. No more systems will go through this system anymore, so just shut it down. They have chosen to not change anymore, not evolve. And maybe, you know, that's for a particular purpose. It all has a certain timing and everything, but there's a there's the individual space with that and the ups and downs in that space. And then there's the overall, the macro sort of graying out of the experience. This is what I'm saying the Western reality has done overall to all the different types of music of people around the world. It's all been turned into pop experience. What's popular? Pop music. And what's popular is your own removing uh, of you from your original thoughts, original relationships, and installing a so-called new version of reality. That's all Western focus. This is why everything has to be about technology. Everything has to be about the new versions of spirituality, which is the government. Their Their religion right now is... Is Christianity, and then you have all the other versions of mainstream religions around the world that have the same effect on people in different ways. Even when they tell you the stories of China, they have to tell you those stories from the perspective of the European mindset, the European psychology. And in that same storyline, they will tell you the Western mind controls along with that. That's the intention of those documentaries, of Netflix, of the mainstream media, like I said, of Hollywood, the wood of the holly tree, which was the wood that was used to make and the only wood that was used to make magic wands for the Druidian people, the Druids. This is an alchemy. And that's what I'm saying is first and foremost in this whole warfare. People have to see how they are their own, they are their own weapons against themselves first before you start to talk about any kind of revolution or any kind of warfare start seeing how your own people around you your own soldiers your own even like even your own enemies see how your own enemies are how they are their own enemies to themselves like so use their own 
uh, weaknesses against them. So this goes down to the relationships that you have to the, the experience overall. And every single moment of the day, there is a story that is being told to maintain a psychology that needs to be maintained to maintain the enslavement on, on the macro scale every single day. People need these movements. They need all that bullshit. They need something to grab onto. And basically, people are just guessing and following hashtags around. Uh, and not really going to the depths of the origins of the cancer of this hopelessness that looks in the eyes of Joe Rogan sitting on the blood and the bones of the ancestors on stolen land, still talking about distractive stories about his stupid ass government and, and what these CIA investigators find out. Like all their late ass information gets told to Joe Rogan. This is what I was saying. Just imagine that you were you inside of like a hedgehog consciousness a hedgehog body, but you were still your own personal consciousness right now, that would slow down your experience. Like you, you would go, like something would be fucked up with you. Like this is why people are all in the world right now being heavily medicated and sick because this, this is the sickness. It is the Western psychology is the disease. It's the source of the separation from any kind of balance and harmony that you can have on a natural scale. Not saying you turn it into a fucking religion and be all like, oh yeah, let's all follow the Pleiadian galaxy and all these aliens and all these people. No, quit looking for Disney storylines and start handling the situation from those higher perspectives. Don't use the information to create a Disneyland. Use the information to learn more about yourself and turn it in at least. Turn that information inward so you can see a brighter picture or a bigger picture at least of the, the outer side. Like what's going on and how what hap what's going on right now got to where it is. Are we at all paying attention to the future generations or are we only focusing on our little like bubbles of reality right now? When you really think about it, you're not going to live that long between me being born in the 80s, the early 80s, now 36 years old. Even if I had another 80 years to live, which I hope not fucking 80 years, but even if I had another 80 years to live, that's a, a little blip in time for, for shit that could be done in reference to the bigger picture. Like you can do so much, and that's the whole storyline that the system wants you to do focus on the smallest picture so they can remain gods and kings over the larger pictures. So keep you focusing on the reproduction karmic cycles. Keep you focusing on love. Keep you focusing on like music and all the arts and the color, the bright colors of the earth experience, the bright colors and and the, the, the beautiful music. So that is, that's the advertisement. That's the commercial for the overall the the realm level mind control so the the smallest version the, the the western version of mind control is just it's a mirror image of the realm version of mind control it has to get to the depths of the realm itself so like the realm it will create an entire world a bubble for you to be trapped in they called it heliocentrism they called it the western new world they called it colonialism they called it uh freedom you know uh, democracy capitalism they called it whatever you wanted to wanted it to be called based upon what they told you it should be about because they told you what is it shouldn't be about that was the thing it shouldn't be about how you are and how your people were they were primitive and savage it should be like the way we are look at this technology so they they shifted your perspective and said oh look at this shiny shit over here you can't even see your soul. You can't see your spirit. You can see this sword, bitch. And then they just sliced everything up and then killed everybody and said, oh, well, it's the survival of the fittest, just like the animal kingdom. And then they televised that. They studied the whole world and said they were going to going around the world to study. But they were just looking at animals and they were just looking at land so they can share their perspectives of the lands to mind control the entire masses. So like I said, even when you watch a documentary about China, you're hearing it from the perspective of the European mind. 
So you you don't have any information that is of any kind of consciousness outside of the mind control itself, the Western mind control itself, not even getting into the realm, the, the mind control of the realm. So you have these, these uh, chemical mind controls that get triggered by the Western mind controls that exist inside your body and your mind and your psyche. And they, they create blocks and walls in your spirit and so on and so forth. So the way you perceive the moon based upon these assholes jumping around and playing golf on it takes, it, takes the spiritual and psychological interpretations, intelligence, that relationship, and puts it in a box in a shelf somewhere and, and calls it laughable. It calls it, you know, non-existent, basically. So, it, and then now what exists to you, instead of looking at this picture right now in a bright green image uh, with these two authority figures in your face, Joe Rogan and a CIA representative of some kind of way named Annie Jacobson, they, they're supposed to be these smart people. They, they represent the intelligence the, of, the, uh, of the empire, the intelligence of today, the intelligence of the status of society. So when they are talking about something like this and they show an image like that, a totally fake image, created image, but it's in your face as being real. That creates a disconnect with you. And for one example, it connects, it, it creates a, 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 a sort of short circuiting with your spiritual relationship that you have with uh, the interpretations, at least of like the, the basic nature of this reality, like the sun, the moon, the earth, the water, the basic elemental f functions here and their spiritual representations of it, when you see this dusty as Hollywood set that they're calling the moon as the moon and these these goofy as fucking people showing pictures like they're jumping around on the moon in their little spacesuits, uh, that does something to you. And what I'm saying is that it does the same thing to you that you would feel like if you were trapped inside of an animal's body but you were your same kind of consciousness so this is this is the same kind of thing that goes along with what i was saying before about even the, the definition of humanity you have no definition of what a human is this is why it's thrown out there like that this is why language is the thing that ties your whole consciousness in knots and locks you out and doesn't allow you to even change or grow you become stagnant and content with nothingness so they've created an entire world and an entire universe of nothingness, born out of nothing, going to nothing, will always be dumber than everything. That's why all your aliens have this higher technology. That's why you have all these alien movies, because they want you to focus on higher technology, space. This is why you have Star Trek, Star Wars, Stargate. All this shit that's out there is to talk about subconsciously and consciously technology. Then that is your focus. Everybody wakes up every morning and when they go to work to push along the evolution of Western technology. Because that is the highest focus that they want you to focus on. The, all of them. The, the, the entire world. So that's that, that's that distractive reality that... We're consumed by every moment of the day. Like I said, think about this. You have millions and millions of not so-called non-white people being inundated with hours upon hours upon thousands upon thousands of hours of so-called white people being flashed in their reality, constantly flashed images over and over and over and over again. There's your first example of so-called not so-called racism whites the system of racism white supremacy add up the hours everybody's everybody's cool with all these uh they always want to investigate all these numbers and all this stuff because you you got the internet you can find out whatever you want so find out this information research the amount of hours per day the average non-white person is put under that is focused only on European perspectives or European people. European perspectives and European people. How many hours per day does the average non-white person, billboards, TV, social media, TV shirt, uh, t uh, t 
<laughs> TV shirts. Yeah, TV shirts, like clothing, everything. How many hours? You'll find out that it's their entire lives down to the very way they perceive themselves in this reality. They don't even know who they are. They are more of that flicker rate image that adds up to the hours of their perception within this reality than they know of themselves. They don't know who they are. They know what, what they've been conditioned to be and have no relationship with yesterday, today, or tomorrow. Their entire relationship with time has been given to them by the Western world. How old they are is representative of how many times this heliocentric earth has, this spherical earth has gone around the sun in this heliocentric universe. That's how they perceive what they call age in this time of their life. Their name is written in all capitals to designate them as a corporation. In the Western world, that was created when their ancestors were originally slave auctioned off to create the buildings that built the technology that people use today. In the industrial age, slaves were used to build the White House. Slaves were used to build the industry of the industrial age. Now you're in the technology that has been built on top of the blood and the bones of all of those industrial ages. And now everybody's gone to sleep because they have everything that is now, everything's now been automated, including their consciousness. So you can't even ask questions about the reality because the authority figures that like the, these dopey ass faces like Joe Rogan and this lady, you have something inside of you like a parasite that makes you believe them and think these that, that whatever they're saying has some kind of sense of authority. Why? Because you have 9,552 million kajillion 387,000 hours of information pumped in into your reality that says you need to trust these people. You need to listen to what they say. In fact, everything that they're saying is more important than what you even believe. Like you, you, you need to believe them before you even believe your own intuition, before you believe your own self. So they will come from the perspectives that, that are created by the same establishment that they claim to be against. They will give you what you're supposed to be thinking the same way the documentaries on television will tell you about a certain thing from their perspective and then that becomes your perspective totally comfortable with being enslaved totally happy and hopeless with being enslaved because it was their ancestors that created the system of happiness and comfort for them today but it ain't as comfortable as it used to be so now they have to say something about it but when it was comfortable for them and was fucked up for us, you hear a fucking word out of their mouths. Until they got put on Front Street. Then the hippie movement came out and that was televised to the rest of the world. And that was a pressure relief valve to the rest of the world and say, oh, OK, well, at least they all aren't that way. At least it's, and maybe there's a little drop of a possibility that we are all the same people and all this other. So they bought into that bullshit. Meanwhile, nothing changed. Over the next 50 years, it's only gotten worse. And now you have people today doing the same fucking thing they did 50 years ago. Telling you not to talk about what you need to be talking about because you should be talking about what they are talking about, which is talking about fixing the system. Energy and, and, and peace and harmony and, and unity, all these empty ass words. There's no action in love. It's, a, it's an action, it's an actionless word when you're talking about the macro storyline in the whole world of revolution and information, so-called truth. But anytime people are saying love, you might as well be saying like Jesus. It's the same shit. It's a fucking made up word. For what? To represent 
some kind of action, some kind of thought, some kind of feeling, some kind of movement of some kind. And what I'm saying is that people get distracted. They don't they don't go into the action, the movement, the 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 information, the psychology of that. They sit around trying to create a corporation around the fucking word. This is what your entire social media, Internet psychosis is. It's so far from reality that these people will literally tell you that they're scientists, they're people that they love and cherish, and they're all, they're all protecting the science community, that they literally came from the, the people, the enemies that they claim to be against in the world wars. So you are being run by the enemies of the original world war that you claim to be against. Like, what the fuck? Your scientists, NASA, created by Nazi Germany or run by Nazi Germany, Werner von Braun. This is all one storyline being told a thousand different ways. So what I'm saying is that the difference is the responsibility of the individual. And if you've been conditioned to not take on that responsibility by the system, then you have been, your, your, your whole relationship with the spirit and, and everything else around that uh, in this entire realm has been taken and turned into the Western realm. So if if all of your focus and time and everything is channeled through just your survival instincts, well, first of all, you've been turned into an animal. Second of all, you've been sucked into another kingdom. And, and now that you've been sucked into that kingdom, you now have a new God and a king over your reality. And everything after that will just follow on. And that's where we are right now. So today's version of God is science, uh, at least on the most unifying factor of what people call them, call humanity. It's science. Like they cherish and worship all the dumbass shit. They worship, you know, um, war and destruction. Uh, even in this other video where Joe Rogan was talking about um, the CIA military part where they have people just going around. Um, taking people out, like, outside of the military. And he's he's proud of it. Like, people like G.I. Joe Rogan, people like him are, like, proud of that. Like, yep, yeah, things you just gotta do to keep America on top, you know? You, you just gotta get those CIA military people out there and just go take out those people like Gaddafi. And, and, and as long as you wanna keep technology and science on the top of the human evolutionary spectrum, then you gotta get out there and kill a whole bunch of fucking people who are in charge of the rest of the countries and... Bia! That's what Joe Rogan is, a fucking piece of shit.